Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 29th, 2016. We've been getting a lot of emails requesting information on the Earth's crustal pole shift during the passage and exodus of planet Nibiru. We really didn't want to touch on this subject because it is a little controversial. We don't have a lot of solid evidence on it other than what others hypothesize. But the Earth does have a 24.5 degree tilt already and it does wobble to about 22.1 degrees. So let's get a little background on how the Earth's crust works. In 1958, Charles Hapgood suggested in his book, The Earth's Shifting Crust, that the Earth's crust had undergone repeated displacements and that the geological concepts of continental drift and seafloor spreading owed their secondary livelihoods to the primary nature of crustal shift. According to Hapgood, crustal shift was made possible by a layer of liquid rock situated about 100 miles beneath the surface of the planet. A pole shift would thus displace the Earth's crust in around the inner mantle, resulting in crustal rocks being exposed to magnetic fields of a different direction. An Earth crust displacement, as the words suggest, is a movement of the entire outer shell of the Earth over its inner layers. If you remove the peel from an orange and then reattach it to the fruit, you can visualize the possibility of the peel moving over the inner layers. The Earth's crust, according to Charles Hapgood, can likewise change its position over the inner layers. When it does, the globe experiences climactic change. The climactic zones, polar, temperate, and tropical, remain the same because the sun still shines on the Earth from the same angle in the sky. From the perspective of people on Earth at the time, it appears as the sky is falling. In reality, it is the Earth's crust shifting to another location. Some land moves toward the tropics, other shifts with the same movement toward the poles, yet others may escape such great changes in latitude. The consequence of such a movement of the entire outer shell of the Earth is catastrophic. Throughout the world, massive earthquakes shake the land and enormous tidal waves crash into and over the continental shelf. As the old ice caps leave the polar zones, they melt, raising the ocean level higher and higher. Everywhere, and by whatever means, people seek higher ground to avoid an ocean in upheaval. Some of the key words there, folks, is highly magnetized inner workings of the Earth. This map was put out by the U.S. Navy years ago, depicting the flooding from planet Nibiru upon its exodus. The United States will definitely be inundated with flooding. East Coast, West Coast, Gulf of Mexico, Mississippi River. The same does apply for all of Europe. South America, Africa, basically the entire world. The Earth's crust will be pulled apart as it is right now because you can obviously see that we are starting to undergo severe earthquakes and the frequency is getting higher and higher. Now, we don't know exactly how far the Earth will be tugged into another position. Some scientists say that it will be or could be up to 48 degrees and that we may bounce back but the earth will not be in the same position that you know of it today that is an absolute fact this will not happen abruptly but it will happen over a very short period of time and I'm afraid that it will be noticeable. The next short animation will basically show you how the Earth can tilt and rotate into other positions, but it is just an animation. Now, understanding one thing, folks, Planet X Nibiru is a highly magnetized planetary body. The Earth's inner core 
is also highly magnetized. So there will be a magnetic tug of war and we will be tilted. The Earth's change will be considerable. There is no way to give precise numbers on any of this. The degree of tilt, when, where, what time. All I know is that when Nibiru decides to make its exodus, this will be one of the biggest factors in mankind's survival. So with that said, I'd like to thank all of you Nibiru watchers. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Keep your videos and your photographs coming in to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 29th, 2016. We've been getting a lot of emails requesting information on the Earth's crustal pole shift during the passage and exodus of planet Nibiru. We really didn't want to touch on this subject because it is a little controversial. We don't have a lot of solid evidence on it other than what others hypothesize. But the Earth does have a 24.5 degree tilt already and it does wobble to about 22.1 degrees. So let's get a little background on how the Earth's crust works. In 1958, Charles Hapgood suggested